What up, we're TGT. It's your man Tyrese. And this is your boy Genuine. And it's your boy Tank. And you're logged into Madame Noir. Keep it locked right here, y'all. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I've been married before. Yeah. I've been married before. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna I do ain't it doing again. it no more. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it one last time. Mm-hmm. And it ain't gonna be no game. Mm-hmm. Okay. Once we get in there, that's it. That's it. That's it. Blood in, blood out. Because yeah. the thing playing. is, thing I is, love you. At this point, and this is for the real men that have been active and moving around a little bit in their day, whether they're famous or not, you won't be able to say that you haven't gotten enough out of your system and satisfied your curiosity. See, I wrote about this in Manology. A lot of folks get married too early. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And a lot of women will say, I want the ring because of the concept of the scent and the ring, mm-hmm. but they don't even know what the concept of being a wife is. Mm-hmm. So here's a new chapter I'm writing in my book, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna be done with it. Mm-hmm. How can you expect me to naturally be something I was never raised by? See, I don't know what a wife is. I don't know what a husband is because it wasn't in my household. I don't have that blueprint. I have no sense of direction. So whatever the concept of husband and wife is, in most cases, you'll try and figure it out on the other side of being married. Trial and error. And that's when things go wrong. You don't know what a husband is. You don't know what a wife is. You just knew that I was supposed to buy you a ring and we were supposed to invite all these people and spend all this money. Mentally, all spiritually, money. emotionally, all that money. sexually. All that money. Do you know and have what it takes to keep that man at home? And that woman at home. Yeah, and as young people, I think we don't really we don't really have the spirit of compromise totally developed mm-hmm. to where it needs to be, to where we can work cohesively as one, where we can make those sacrifices on either end to make a difference in our relationship. You know what I mean? I think as you as, as we get older and as we, as we make mistakes and as we learn, you know what I mean, if you're smart enough about it, you get to take that and turn it into wisdom, which allows you to understand going into the next time around the do's and don'ts, you know what I mean, and being more accepting. I think me having children made a difference in how I view my relationship because it's like with your children, when they do something wrong, you can't say, that's it, it's over, and walk out and, and leave the kids in the grocery store, or well, that's it, I ain't gonna be, you know what I mean? You can't do that. It's a different patience. You have to, you have to teach and learn from each other and move on. And that's what every relationship should be if it's a real relationship, if it's built on the right foundation. If we really love each other that much, everything ain't gonna be perfect. It's not meant to be. If that was the case, we wouldn't be here. Most of the people don't have the patience and tolerance Mm -hmm. for anybody. Most people are so self-consumed and about their own mission and goals. They don't really know what moving as a unit even is. With me, you know, I've been married 10 years, uh, going on 10 years. Congratulations. Thank you, my brother. Yeah, yeah. man, B.I. I I was the best man at his wedding. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And it's a um, it's a forever learning process. I mean, no, I mean you'll it's always something new to learn. With just being in a marriage, um, it's a give and take. You know, just just like Tank said, it's trial and error as well. I mean, I mean that's just the best advice that I can give. You know, you gotta love who you with, and I totally believe once you make that commitment, you stay with that person. Period. You you know if it's a wife or it's a or if it's a husband, you support that person. You know what I mean? One thing I try to make sure of while you know I'm on the road or before I leave the road, I make sure that everything is taken care of at home, and my wife makes sure that I'm fine leaving. You know what I mean? We always just was talking about our kids, and um, you know my kids are just so used to me leaving now, and I I hate that, but. At the same time, I love it because when I come home, I get signs, welcome home, daddy, and all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, it's fun, but you're going to have some trying times, always. You know, it's just one of those things where you just got to be strong. You got to be know real who you strong. Are until you discover who you're not. Yep. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mr. Deep. I've got quotes. Yeah, I've got quotes. <laughs> the human quote. The man. human quote. <laughs> Stop by a machine today, put in a quarter, and get two quotes from Tyrese. <laughs> Mine are. Mine um, too. Um, my kids went to the Atlantic City show, um, and I have teenagers. So she had to actually turn off her Instagram and turn around because I was humping the floor, and she was like, Daddy, I, I just don't want to see that. I just don't want to see that. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, well, they're, they're um, weirded out, absolutely. He, like, got, he got a little baby, so. My daughter's uh, six. She yeah. just uh, gets scared. <laughs> when that many women start screaming. Uh-huh. And, uh, so it's, 
but she she's getting used to it. She just she's young, so it's hard for her to process why why all these mm -hmm. people are screaming over chocolate. No, I don't ever get tired of, of women not at all. Uh, screaming for us. And I love every woman. That. Yeah, never. I love we every are, woman. It's a part of source. it. It's a part it's of it. It's a part of this. It. I study so, women. Yeah, yeah. I want to know everything you're thinking, mm. feeling. I ask questions. I want to yeah. know what you desire. I want to hear your complaints. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to say, I hope, I hope my woman never says that about me. Mm. Hmm. That's what you want. Mm. See, that's what that, I got a problem with their problem. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, I have this one thing that I've been on lately and I haven't wrote a song about it. And I, I said, every woman comes with baggage and every man comes with baggage, but can you find a man that's gonna love you enough to stand there and help you unpack? And so I haven't figured out a way to put that into a song, but that's, that's some strong stuff to recognize the baggage, but say, no, I love you and I'll take all the baggage that come with you. Let's compartmentalize it, figure it out, talk about it and get from here to where we're trying to go. They say you can't make a whole housewife, but how can I become a man when I've been a dog all my life? So we all mm. have something <laughs> well, ugly mm -hmm. that we're putting on the table along with all the good stuff we promote. Well, You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I'm willing to carry well, your fine china well, and take out your trash. Well, Roll with a player. Mm -hmm. Amen.